Hey everybody, welcome back to the Express JS tutorial series. Um, so basically what we've covered so far, hopping over the code, is how to set up a basic Express app, how to do some basic routing, how to send files, and how to have static assets. So now we've got kind of this uh, HTML document with some CSS and some JavaScript, and it's pretty obnoxious looking. Um, so we're going to kind of clean that up in this video, and then we're going to talk about um, how to how to do template uh, engines with Express, um, which is pretty cool. So first, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to go ahead and remove this second style sheet. We don't really need two style sheets. I was just showing that it can be done. Uh, so I'll delete that, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep this style sheet coming down, but set it to like a, a less annoying color, so like a nice light gray. Uh, I'm also going to keep the JavaScript coming down but not have an alert because we don't want a big alert popping up each time we load our page. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and delete this call for the second style sheet. I think the last thing I'm going to do is I showed that you can have two different static uh, folders, but we really only need one for this application. So just a little bit of cleaning house uh, so it's easier to work with and uh, easier to look at. Let's see, let's go ahead and restart the Node app here and refresh. And what's going on? Maybe I didn't save my style. Yes. There we go. Okay, so now we have a, a, a less loud app going on. Um, cool. So uh, templating engines, the basic idea here, there's a couple ideas to it, but um, you know, one of the big things is that you don't want to uh, restrict yourself to just... Um, you know, just HTML files, uh, and specifically one of the things that template engines can do that just HTML files can't is allow you to pass in some variables, which is really nice. Uh, so the one we're going to look at is Jade, uh, although Express works really well with Mustache or, uh, you know, a lot of other templating engines. So I'm going to go ahead and back to my terminal, I'm going to close the app, then I'm going to do an npm install dash dash save for Jade, uh, and we can kind of, if we go to npmjs.org, we can check out a little bit about the Jade templating engine. Let's get this loading and search for Jade. There we go. So the basic idea with Jade, all oh, template engines usually look pretty different, but ultimately they do the same thing. Um, you know, they give you these like ways of writing their kind of domain language, which turns into proper HTML. But it does some cool things, like it lets you, like we'll see here. It does title equals this. This is a variable page title, and what comes out from the HTML is title uh, of Jade. Um, so it lets us pass things in from our app to our HTML. Uh, cool. So we've got that installed. Hopefully, yep, all good now. So I'm going to go back to my index.js, and right underneath this uh, call for static assets here, I'm going to do app set and I'm gonna set the view engine to Jade. Uh, cool. So now that that's done, uh, we can do a few things kind of bootstrapping. Uh, the first one is that Express is always going to look for uh, your views in a views folder. Uh, we can change that if we ever want to. We can specify a different folder, but I find views works just fine. Oops. We don't want it in public. We want it out in the main application here. So we've got views, and then we're going to go ahead and make a new file, and I'm just going to call it index.jade this time. So here's our index.jade, and we're going to do a really, really basic example here. We'll do like HTML, and then we'll do a head tag, and then just like we saw on the um, NPM site, we'll do like title, and this equals uh, specifies when you're declaring a variable. Uh, so we'll call the variable title, uh, then we'll have our body tag, and then here we'll have an h1, and we'll set it to like some message variable. So now, um, what we're going to change, we don't need this, uh, what's this HTML document anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it for now. Because instead of just sending a raw HTML file with send file, we're going to use res.render. And render is going to be use the view engine, so it's going to look up and see what view engine we're using. So instead of this dir name, because we're not really going off the file system anymore, we don't need that dir name specified, we just need the name of the view, which in this case is index. So you don't need the .jade because that's what's being specified here. Uh, so that's cool. However, if we go ahead and start the app and we go to our page, um, we're going to see that it's blank. And the reason that is is because all of the content now, where before we actually had some static content, right, like hello world. 
So if we go ahead and do that, we'll see hello world. But now we're expecting some variables to come through, specifically title and message. So what you do is, um, as the second parameter to res render, you can pass in a JavaScript object with as many variables as you want. So you can do you know title equals um, my title. And you can do message equals, and we'll go back to our hello world. Cool. So now we've got the file that we're calling, index.jade, and we've also got these two variables set, title and message. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the app again, and then go over here, and we will see that the title is now my title, and the content is hello world. And so anything we change here, change hello to goodbye, um, oh, right, and restart the app will be reflected immediately in the markup. So this is cool for a lot of reasons. The thing that we're going to kind of get to as these series continue is that we won't always have this like static content, right? So like, let's just pretend with some pseudocode that we have like, you know, db dot uh, get users or something like that, um, you know. And so we, we call this get users and it returns like, I don't know, an array of users or something like that. So we could have like, you know, var users equals that. And then we could go ahead and we could pass that down. So we could be like, you know, users equals users, right? So now this is like some dynamic content that'll change uh, as we add users. So then in here, instead of just setting it to a variable, we can do like a for loop and go through each user and display their name or something like that. Uh, and this is going to give us a lot more flexibility than just HTML. But we're not quite there yet, so we're still doing the static content, um, and it's still just a title and a message, but we are setting ourselves up uh, to a good place where we can do some cool stuff.